think I'll open the batting with um, Hayden and Saywag. Watched a lot, lot of Ashes cricket growing up and Hayden seemed to do a lot of dominating against the English attack. And Saywag, I thought, th to, to come out with a frame of mind that he had and play such attacking cricket, even in test cricket, um, was pretty amazing to watch. Coming in at first drop, I think Ricky Ponting, uh, I think he'll captain my side. Always admired him growing up. Scored a lot of runs again against England and uh, he'll come in at three. Four is a tough decision. I think I'll go with uh, Sachin Tendulkar. It's hard to leave him out of any side. One of the best players in the world uh, to grace the game, so put him in at four. Five will put probably my favourite player to watch is Damien Martin. Again, another Aussie in there. Uh, I think he was one of the nicest batsmen that's ever played the game. Very easy on the eye. Coming in at six and keeping uh, A.B. de Villiers. Um, unbelievable player at the minute. Plays all around the ground in all three formats. He's probably in the top three. Seven will go for an all-rounder, Freddie Flintoff. Gave his all and did, and did his best and uh, has some very memorable moments. Into the bowling, I think I'll bat Shane Warren at eight um, and Mur Litherin at nine. Um, both quality spinners, Mur Litherin turning it both ways and Warren having the record he does. Um, pretty easy selections there. And my, my two seamers are going to be Mitchell Johnson at ten, handy with the stick as well. Uh, nice to have a left armour in there. And, I'll finish off with Glenn McGrath, I'm sure that's been a pretty common name but lands it in any spot he wants to and pretty reliable. So that's my all time 11, watch yours.